In today's video, I am going to be showing you the new and improved Toronto Raptors. They didn't really make that many moves in the offseason. They got Dennis Schroeder, who just so happens to be the best player in the world right now, according to the World Cup. So let's get down and let's check out the Toronto Raptors because they, they've really changed a lot, even though it's just a new coach and a new point guard. Really quickly, one of the offenses that the Toronto Raptors use, as well as many other NBA teams, is the Horns offense. Make sure to go check out my Horns basketball playbook that is down in the description below. So simple plays like this are very prevalent. It's just a quick dribble handoff, not even a screen off that dribble handoff. But OGA Ananobi is a very strong player. I mean, Scotty Barnes is a very strong player, my bad. They kind of look the same almost um, when, you're, when you're looking at this view, but... When you look at Scotty Barnes, he's able to get to that rim at ease at will and nobody's really going to be able to stop him. They still run the post-up game. They still run ISO games for in the Toronto Raptors. They're going to need to do that. The one problem I do see is who is their number one option. When you're playing at this level, there has to be a number one option. You're either looking at Pascal Siakam, you Scotty Barnes, or OG Ananobi. Which one of those three guys are your number one options? They don't really say in their press conferences and... While you may have, a, in my opinion, a young three-player core, um, you need to designate who is number one in the offense, who is number two, because at this level, they need to know. They need to know who they need to get that ball to in, the, in two seconds left in the shot clock. And, of course, that is one of the things that OG Ananobi was complaining about last year and why everyone thought that he was about to leave. But they still run simple offenses, a simple screen and roll pass to the, the, the non-ball side, and then a little bit of an iso with Pascal Siakam to collapse the defense. See, in the NBA and pretty much any, any high-level basketball, the whole goal is just to get that ball into the key. I run this strategy with my U12s as well because I've got a very quick player who passes extremely well. His name is Keneal, and he's able to get into the paint and just kick it out, and I've got a couple of shooters. So that's, this, that's the strategy that I personally run run as well and it's very successful at pretty much any level but this is really where the passing really does show up we get a pass into the post into OG Ananobi who does a quick dump pass over to Boucher who's able to then dunk that ball down now this is all from moving off ball you're getting that post up into that low post you always want to do an early paint touch if you can that's just going to collapse the defense and then you can get players who are cutting from weak sides or from the corners who are generally going to be open because their man left them and they can get some open layups again this is a strategy that i run with my team that's a u12 team they're 11 year olds as well and i really do like this off ball movement this is not something that we've seen a ton of last year uh, there was a lot of iso situations last year and i that's the reason why i stopped watching the raptors it was just iso after iso but you're actually seeing some pretty good off ball movement you're getting the the base of the triangle a little bit of a screen and roll up top over here and then that player who's now attacking off of that screen, you've got options who are open for the three-point shot. And if we actually look at the court, you have all five players who can jack up a three-point shot and hit it with some kind of certainty if they're wide open as Gary Trent Jr. is right here. Off-ball screens are always a fantastic thing. And this is something that I'm trying to get my U12 team to do as well more often. And the U14s and U15s that David plays on, they do these types of plays as well. Not this one specifically, but off-ball screens. And they're very useful because now you can get a five-on-three screen and you can get a little bit of a mismatch. You've got a player who's cutting base or cutting across baseline who's popping out for a shot. You've got Pirtle. You have Schroeder who could be moving up to the point. Could be a good outlet, could be a good swing if the defense collapses, but Gary Trent Jr. is able to finish with the layup. Really quickly, a player who's cheating somewhat, leaning against the screen, it looked like he was about to cheat underneath that screen. Anytime a player is about to cheat on a screen, you deny the screen, you attack. It's Some players and some coaches may say that's ISO situations. It's not. It's just reading that screen, reading the defender and attacking him. Now, right here is really good. Now, whenever you get a, a loose ball at the point, uh, the first thing that you should be looking at is the lead pass. However, the defender was on that side, so this read was actually perfect. Dennis Schroeder attacked the basket, made this guy commit to him, and that's as soon as that player committed to him, he was able to pass over to his teammate, who was wide open, no dribbles, and OG Ananobi was able to then finish at the rim. 
Some more amazing passing right here. Here's a three-on-one situation. Now, last year, I can almost guarantee Pascal Siakam would have just taken it right to the rim and forgot about these two guys even being there. However, this year, he made that pass. It was a nice alley-oop to OG. And things like this are going to turn the Toronto Raptors around this year. If they can continue to pass, they had a ton of assists this game. This is going to look very promising, and they'll have a well over 500 record. Here's some more passing. Now, Malachi Flynn is always a good passer, same as Scotty Barnes, and this is exactly what you want to see. A pass across, get that defender away, hit the trail, and then, of course, the trailer can slam it down. Very simple offense that you can run. If you're a coach, this is something that you can run as well, but this is just simple basketball. And anytime there's lots of passing, your fans are going to be extremely happy as this kid is right here. Now watch this pass. Malachi Flynn always hits these nice long passes. This is to Scotty Barnes. And Scotty Barnes, look at what he's doing. He's looking at the court. So many players will get that lead pass and say, I'm just going to go up because I'm close to the rim. My coach always says, just go up when I'm close. But if you are basically getting collapsed on by two players and you've got a trailer, hit that trail, man. Get that dunk, layup, whatever. And here we get that and one. It was a fantastic play. And this is exactly how you play basketball. One thing I really like about Boucher is the fact that he finds these holes to cut from. Now, in this clip, Scotty Barnes does go to score, but look at the options that are here. Scotty Barnes could score, which is what happens, or he could drop the ball off to Boucher, who could posterize somebody, or if that committed by passing to Boucher, this defender, this would be a nice tic-tac-toe pass over to OG, who would, or to this, this player, that's not OG, who would then be able to get that layup so obviously some options here in that type of a play and it was all because of Boucher I'm always a big fan of these quick hitter baseline inbounds I run one myself and even the teams that I'm an assistant coach on with David we run these quick hitters as well it's all about trying to score quickly off of that inbounds get as many rebounders in there as possible and as long as you got a high percentage shooter you're going to be generally okay now this is a fantastic play right here what they're running is basically a five out offense you've got a player who's out on the wing on the far side you got a, a point who's setting a screen pin down screen a wing who's setting a pin down screen for the corner and this guy's coming off of that pin that double stat or that staggered pin down screen what happens now is he could curl in he could try to attack this is going to draw in players and that's essentially what's happening malachi flynn is a very special player in my opinion because he's able to relocate i i find that he's kind of like a poor man steph curry because he's actually a very strong offensively skilled player who moves off ball just like curry and i feel like he could be a good option like a seth curry style player for the toronto raptors now here Coming off of that staggered screen, that kick pass back to Malachi, and Malachi Flynn was then able to hit that three. So good passing, good off-ball movement. This is the type of offense that the Toronto Raptors need to run to win games. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball team player and coach. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Zone defense book that is down in the description below.